Hi guys and welcome to my channel. In this video, I uh, well first off, I am filming in my new apartment and I'm so sorry if it's like echoing. Uh, I don't have a mic yet but I will probably buy one because I think the sound will not be as good. And this video will just be a shit chatty video. I will talk about like some serious stuff. Um, I never really do that and have never really done on my channel so I'm kind of uncomfortable with it, but I'm talking about some heartbreak and just some things going on in my life right now. So yeah, if you want to see how I created this look and also me talking about some, some personal stuff, then just keep watching. <laughs> so to start, I will go in with the Isadora Cover Up Stick and Brush Foundation and Concealer. This one is in 01 Light Beige. It might be a bit too dark for me. I've gotten quite a lot of breakouts, so excuse that. Um, I guess it's a lot of stress and yeah, stress mostly. So I'm going to use this all over my face and we'll see if it can cover these pimples and also my under eyes. It comes with a brush on the other side, so why not try it, I feel like. But I think I will hate it. <laughs> it's actually not that bad. It's just a bit too small, I think. I do want some more coverage underneath my eyes, even though I think it covered a lot. But I will go in with the HD concealer under my eyes. And this also brightens a lot as it's very pale. Next up, I'm going in with a cream contour kit from Sleek Makeup. And I'm going to use a mix of these two uh, just to bronze up my face. And I'm using the Beauty Builder for it. Beauty blender for it. <laughs> I just saw a video with Carly Bible and she used cream contour, so I just felt like I wanted to do it myself. <laughs> Even though I don't really like it, but it's always fun to change up your routine sometimes. So today I am filming for the first time in my apartment. <laughs> I am so in love with this place and I'm so excited to be living by my own <laughs> honestly I've been looking for my own place for I don't know two years maybe uh, and now that I have I just feel so at home here like honestly the first night that I slept here was the best <laughs> it just I don't know, it's all so nice to have my own place, to be able to have all of this up and like standing so I can film very easily and so nice to like cook my own food. I don't know, I love all of that and, and also as my apartment is closer to town um, because I used to live very far out which is super nice, you know, I could go to a meeting yesterday and it took me like 15 minutes to get there. And it would have taken like, I don't know, an hour more uh, from where I lived before. So I'm so excited. To set everything, I'm using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD 01 powder. And I'm going to use a fluffy brush to apply that underneath my eye. And then for the rest of my face, I'm going to go in with a contour and bronzer again, just to intensify it all. And I'm going to use the new Isadora Face Sculptor in Natural Bronze. And I'm going to use these two shades that are matte. So, as you guys can hear, I am very happy about moving. But in this video, I did want to go a bit deep. Um, I've never really talked about feelings or stuff on my channel. But today, I just wanted to talk a little bit about... Uh, the weird thing about moving on my own and I've not really talked about this at all on my channel so for some of you this might be super weird to hear uh, but if you follow my vlog uh, the latest like month um, you've heard that me and my uh, boyfriend has broken up so he's not my boyfriend 
And for you who don't know, we were actually together for almost five years. So a very, very long time as I am only 21. Yeah, I'm not going to go into details why we broke up or anything like that. But just to get it out there, no one has done anything bad. We just kind of drifted apart, I guess. But what I wanted to talk about today is that the weird thing about moving on my own because I thought for like five years that I always would have moved in with my before boyfriend. Um, so it's kind of weird and I'm sitting here in my new apartment and I'm all alone. <laughs> don't be don't be writing like comments about that it's sad or anything. Um, it's not sad and I'm not sad. <laughs> um, kind of. I'm so bad at talking about feelings. <laughs> this is so weird. I'm going to go in with some highlighter. I will list everything below. This is going to be more of a ta t -t -t talky video, shit chatty, you know? Um, so I will list everything below. So if you like any of the products that I'm using, just check uh, the info box. Uh, but yeah, like for five years, I have been building up this like thought about moving in my like my first apartment uh, with my no ex. Like for five years, I thought that that would be a thing, and now it's not. And it's also kind of weird as we only broke up like a month ago. <laughs> And that's when I got my apartment, you know? And yeah, it's really weird. But even so, I'm a very like, I'm a lone wolf. I love to be by myself. I am not the one who like feels lonely when I'm sitting alone at a Friday night, you know, <laughs> watching Netflix or I don't know. And also because I've been traveling so much lately, I'm kind of scared that I'm like rushing things, you know, um, because it's a very big uh, change in my life, like the biggest I've ever done, honestly. I don't know, we'll see how I feel in about <laughs> maybe all of the um, feelings like come crashing, then who knows. But yeah, if you want to see more of my apartment, because of course you do, uh, I will have a vlog coming up very very soon and for you who don't know I have now uploaded vlogs on my second channel which I just started so it's nothing it's a very new channel so if you haven't thought of, thought of it if you haven't heard of it yet don't you guys worry I will have it linked let's see is it here or here I can never remember. And also in the info box, if you want to see, I have both my LA vlog where I go with NYX Cosmetics and also my Moscow uh, in Russia vlog with Mika Forever and also I think the Berlin vlog is up also. If it's not, it will be soon and after that my moving vlog will be up. Today I am going to go to Ikea with my mother. And I am very, very excited. The, the sweet in me is like <laughs> super excited. Uh, no, but I honestly love Ikea. I'm going to go in with my brand new, precisely my uh, brow pencil from Benefit. I love this one so much. This is in the shade six. And I got my brows done yesterday. If you follow me on Snapchat, you saw when I went there, she like waxed. Waxed, yeah. Um, the brow into shape, but she dyed them and plucked them and all that. So they look real fine tonight. So yeah, I'm going to Ikea and I do want to buy like the entire store. <laughs> but as I said in my last video, I do not know how long I will be staying in this apartment. I hope for a long time because I like already love the neighborhood and 
I just love everything about this apartment. Like the house is very old and I love that. I'm probably not going to stay here for a long time as I'm only renting this. I've not bought it, but hopefully I can find something else when I get thrown out <laughs> from this. Okay, I do want to talk a little bit about the breakup because I feel like I sound like a psychopath when like together for five years and I'm just like, ah, it's okay, I'm fine. It's not like that, obviously. It's just now in front of the camera and I do not really talk about feelings with anyone, but I just wanted to like say, like the breakup was, I, I would say it was mutual. Oh my God, I can't talk. We just didn't really have the time for each other. He's my best friend. I wish him all the happiness in the world. Like that decision was honestly like the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Uh, but I think it was for the best because like the worst scenario would have been that we would still be together and we would not have the time for each other and maybe something bad happened or maybe we would start fighting or whatever and we never did but we did not have the time for each other so it just didn't work i didn't feel like it worked um I'm so uncomfortable <laughs> talking about all these. What? Uh, why am I like this? I could just edit it out if I don't like want it uh, to be in the video. So that's how it is. It's super weird. I'm still like healing, I guess. But it's also very nice to just think. I just bad. Uh, to just think about like my career and all of that and not boys because when i was younger my world um what's what's it called like surrounded i don't know but i feel like boys were a very very big part of my life and who i was but it's not really anymore and i think that also is because i met my my ex uh, and we were together for as i said five years I learned so much from him and he learned so much from me and we really grew together and I really feel like I am the person that I am today because of him which I'm so so grateful for and I've gotten a completely new perspective on like who I am and what I'm worth and all of that so I don't know what to say but yeah the we're no longer together. I really, really, really hope that we will be able to be friends someday as he is honestly the best person in the entire world. Like, honestly, he's the best. That's, that's all I have to say about that. Let's use some brow gel. <laughs> if you like me talking about like deep things, um, maybe I can get better at it because I do feel like I like to watch these kinds of videos where people really talk about serious, like, real stuff, you know? Maybe not, like, bad things, but just, like, stuff happening in everybody's life. It's always cool to see or hear another perspective in things. And I'm sure some of you have gone through the same thing as I do right now, and it's always nice to get a feedback maybe you can uh, comment down below if you have gone through something similar okay for eyes i'm going to use the dark matter and melt stack this is not only the melt stack i also have the radioactive stack in here because it's so nice to just have on my counter like this i'm going to use the lightest shade called blur and afterwards i'm going to go in with the shade unseen this one and then a bit of this one called enigma so pretty much the entire dark matter stack i'm going to use on my eyes i'm starting off with the lightest shade in the crease 
I feel like this video is going to be like all over the place. I do not really know what I'm talking about. But I just wanted to say again that if you want to see more like personal videos, I have my second channel that I just started. I have two videos up there now. So go and check that out. As I said, it's going to be a lot of traveling vlogs, moving vlogs, and also next week I'm going to go and get my second, uh, well, not second, actually, um, like a fourth tattoo. Yeah, <laughs> fourth tattoo. Uh, and my first, like, big one, I'm going to get a thigh tattoo. And I've already, like, written it on my Instagram and, like, hinting about what I'm doing. And a lot of you actually said the, um, the right thing but I'm still going to keep it a secret until I do it. So I will vlog that, of course, and I will put it on my second channel. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. I'm so excited to have it on my body. I've been wanting that tattoo for, honestly, since I was like 10. Living alone is also so nice because I just walk around like singing all the time. But I'm kind of scared that my neighbors hears me sometimes because it is a very like old house and I can't really hear my neighbors but when they are in the uh, stair, stairway, staircase, what? You know where the stairs are, um, I can hear my, my neighbors and also when they're in the elevator, I always stop singing when I, when I hear someone's there. <laughs> On my lid, I'm going to go in with this new Makeup Forever Star Lit Liquid in O2. It looks like a nail polish, but it's it's so cool. You can like draw it on and it dries. So you can do a cut crease and or you can just blend it out while it's still um, like liquidy, like that. And while it's still liquidy, I am going to blend it out just a little bit right here. I want the lid to be a bit like lighter, so I'm just going to go in with a chromatic shadow highlighter from NYX called Snow Rose. It still has this like pinkish sheen, but it just lightens the look a little bit. I'm going to go in with the Epic Ink Liner from NYX and I'm just going to do my signature uh, wing liner that you guys have seen me do a hundred times and now right on top of the like black liner I'm going to go in with this as you guys know in my latest video I absolutely love these ones from NYX the vivid brights cream colors they're amazing this one is in the shade 09 endless skies in my waterline I'm going in with the new fall whites in 01 vanilla from NYX I'm so sorry if you can hear a lot of sound. I still don't have a microphone, but I feel like now that I live here, I really need to invest in one because I can hear like the cars outside and also the trains when they're passing by and my neighbors. So please tell me if you uh, think it's annoying and I will, I will probably buy one like today. <laughs> It's a very big difference from where I lived before, where I lived on like an actual island in an actual forest kind of, and now that I live here. For mascara, I'm going to use the They're Real from Benefit. So I've applied some lashes as well, and these ones are from Swede. I will link them down below. And now I have to do my lips and then I'm done. So for lips, I'm going to go in with this new shade from Melt Cosmetics called Stefford. It's their matte lipstick and I think it looks really cute. So I will like go in with that. And why I'm going in with a regular lipstick, I don't know, this might sound super weird, but yesterday I started a challenge with myself because I pretty much never use my regular lipsticks and I have so many just because I love liquid lipsticks so much. They are so nice to just put on and you don't have to worry about like smudging it or have to reapply like every time you touch it or whatever. So I don't really use regular lipsticks, but I really do want to 
use some of them again. So I've started a challenge with myself that throughout the entire February month I'm going to use regular lipsticks because I use lipsticks every single day pretty much and I always use liquid lipsticks but no liquid lipsticks in February and I've only gone one day and it's been hard. <laughs> if you are the same as me, do the challenge as well. Start today. <laughs> This one was cute. This is from Neve Cosmetics, one of my favorite brands, and it's their what are they called? Natural lipstick in almond cookie. I'm just going to line my lips with the NYX suede lip liner in London. I'm also going in with the NYX butter lipstick in snow cap, just in the middle. I want to lighten it a little bit. All right, so this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. <laughs> and also me talking about some serious stuff. I'm not sure how much I will put in, but if you enjoyed this video and also appreciated me talking about some personal stuff, I don't know how deep I went. I don't even remember what I talked about. But if you did uh, enjoy that, please give this video a thumbs up and um, and yeah, and subscribe also if you haven't already. I have my vlogging channel linked in the info box. And yeah, that's about it. So I hope we will see each other in my next video. And until then, have a great day.